Okay, hello. Today I want to talk to you about replacing the engine on a Spico Splitmaster 22 ton log splitter. And uh, this is about a 12 year old machine. And here's the engine that came off of it. It's a Briggs and Stratton uh, 124 T02 021 81. I believe it's a six and a half uh, horsepower, all the stickers and stuff are gone off of it but uh yeah you can see it's just seen better days the bolt pattern is uh one two three so there's three bolts that mount up to this machine and the shaft is just over three inches and so anyways i looked and looked i did a lot of research online trying to figure out what engine needs to go on this and there wasn't really a lot of information out there so that's why I'm making this video so other people that might be going through this uh, don't have to go through what I did so anyways what we have here is a Briggs and Stratton 675 series 190 cc's and it says 6.75 but that's not horsepower that's foot-pounds gross torque at 2600 rpms per SAE J 1940. So the the model number on this engine is 126N02-0437-F1. And it's basically the equivalent of the six and a half horsepower engine that uh, we pulled off of this machine. Now these engines are made for lawnmowers and one thing that we struggled with was we couldn't start this thing once we put it on the log splitter and that's because there's a little spring over here that uh, has to be in this position in order for it to start so we uh, took the spring off of it and and just wired it so it's always in that position so that uh, it's always getting spark and it starts just fine <clears throat> so i'll just show you So we're gonna have to cut in a, a valve right here to, to shut that off and run the gas out of the carburetor every time, which is good practice on small engines. So that's what we'll have to do for the, the shut off. Thanks everyone.